Hey, what's up, guys? Gabe here with another rip. Uh, doing Pokemon today. I got the Ultra Premium Collection, uh, UPC, Pokemon 151. Um, I just love this set. Um, they don't do booster boxes of these, so... Um, and I think they only do one UPC for the year. So I went ahead and just bought it. It was about 120 or a little less than that, I believe. So uh, booster box is typically about 130 So this is actually quite a bit cheaper. Um, uh, maybe not quite a bit, but a bit. Um, these ones are just like um, ETBs on steroids i guess um there's promo cards dice play mats promo cards i said promo cards already <laughs> um yeah and other cool stuff like that um i don't know that i'd see these upcs going down too much in price like these are really good um this set's really good i should say um, and the promos in here are pretty nice, um, and all that jazz. There's, like, I want to say 16 packs in here, which is kind of insane in itself, so. Anyways, let's, uh, start ripping this. So I did pull a gold Mew in my booster bundle video, if you haven't watched that, in a full art Venusaur. Pretty happy. So this is really neat, like, wow, this feels... Definitely premium. Look at that. Nice little sliding thing out here. Let's look at this one first. So, very cool. Um, looks like the cards came out a little bit, but here, let's take it out. Mew EX special, special illustration. That's pretty insane. Look at that, that is beautiful, wow. This is actually like a really useful card. I probably won't use this in my play play deck, but wow. Definite wow there, definite wow factor. Very cool. Um, here's the Mewtwo. Love that. These look like pretty decently centered too. Or centered as well. Wow. Maybe gradable? I don't know. Uh, that's pretty neat. Here's our metal card. I like, I love these metal cards. These are super nice. Um, I want to rip the box. You can get it out of here. I guess you just have to pry it out. There we go. Wow. You hear that? That is a work of art. That is awesome. Very cool. Love that. I'm actually going to sleeve that. Sleeve and top load it. Why not? Uh, I guess we can put it in a larger top loader. Skills. Well, let's try it in here. I think this will fit. Oh, it does fit. Wow. Absolutely stunning. Very cool. Set that over here. Um, okay, let's continue on. Push my cards back a little bit so you guys can see. And there you go. Here's the packs. There's a deck box right here. Very nice. I don't think I'll open this. You guys seen deck boxes before. Pretty cool uh, coin and um, dice right here. Pink dice. And your burn and poison markers. Like that. Um... Here's the playmat in here. Let's take a gander at this. All right. Let's 
knocked all my cards over. That's pretty cool. Pretty simplistic. That's, that's pretty hefty, too. Wow. I like that. Stitched edges and everything. That's really all that's on here. It's just Mew and 151, Pokemon logo, all the Pokemon on the back. But yeah, look at that. That stitching is just... Yeah, this is... This is probably a playmat I'll use, to be honest with you. <laughs> Very cool. Roll that up. Um, and I think that's it as far as, like, accessories go, so... I think that's pretty neat. Let's go ahead and open these packs now. Yeah, 16 packs. That's that's a lot. There's 36 packs in a, in a regular booster box. So you get a little less than half of that. Um, so that's probably... This is probably where you're going to get your most packs as far as getting them through one product goes. So anyways... Let's go. Quit talking, Gabe. About eight minutes in and... I haven't ripped anything. I got pretty lucky. Like I said earlier, I got that Mew, Gold Mew, and um, Booster Bundle. This set is just great. I love it. Um, I'll probably go through the base pretty quick. There's a Starmie. Very nice. Basic energy. Dig it. Keeping the code cards. Forgot about that. Okay, it's getting organized. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I just love this set. Um, it's not too meta-changing. Um, Mew, Mew EX is pretty good in a lot of decks, it seems like. Um, I'm just, I just love these special sets, man. They're, f they're so fun. Hopefully I can find some for the shop, you know? Um, I have a little trouble finding Pokemon cards sometimes, though. Uh, very cool. Nidoking. I don't have that one yet, I don't think. That's dope. Very cool. Just the camera again. So, yeah. And, uh... You guys drop a comment down below what's your favorite pokemon favorite set what's your favorite pokemon out of this set um you know that's a cool porygon i love that porygon um i can never separate these cards out well jigglypuff wheezing there's our lightning energy hollow i'd probably buy these in bulk if you got any let me know I love those. I like using them, and they're probably going to be, uh... They're decently easy to find. I think it's, like, one in every two to four packs or something like that. Um, but, you know. They're kind of hard to find in non-special sets. I don't know if... I think this is the first time they've done it in a special set. Putting those in, so... Or at least making it that common. Um, Dragonair, Seedra, Ivysaur, Electrode. Oh. There's going to be a lot of sorting here to do later. Um, I don't remember what I was just talking about. Uh, no Pokemon tournaments this week. There's actually a regional going on over in Illinois, Peoria. Might try and make it out to a regional one of these days. Um, we'll see. There's another one. Very cool. Keep that. Nice Mewtwo. Um, yeah, I'd like to travel for this. Kind of expensive, but... I guess these days I'm playing a single strike Lugia deck I just switched to from, uh, I guess, I was playing a, uh, like, anti-meta deck with Vulpix and, um, Alolan Vulpix and, uh, playing Pikachu. 
Very cool. Not starting out too hot here. Champ. Ah, there we go. First full art. Very nice. I have this in Japanese, and it's like, last I checked, it was like a $200 card. Very cool. Like that. Sleeve that up. I'll top load it later. Yeah, there's some cards I won't um, play in my, or use in my play decks. That's probably one of them. Unless I can find one for cheap. Like, I'll play full art cards if they're, like, less than five bucks or something. I don't know. I, I haven't checked the price on it just now uh, for the English version, but hopefully it's up there. It's a pretty cool-looking card, in my opinion. Very artsy-fartsy. Cycling Road. Drill. Very cool. I gotta sort all my cards. Pretty atrocious. Atrocious looking. Okay. I really want the Blastoise. Wouldn't mind another Mew. Um, the full art. Um, anything full art, really, I, I enjoy a lot. I want the starters pretty bad, full art starters. Uh, what else is there? Gold cards. I never pulled gold cards until I got this set. Um, Growlithe, another Beedra. There's a hollow green energy. Love it. I'm gonna buy a whole bunch of those. Pretty sure I just said that like five minutes ago. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, keep the train moving. I want that Giovanni card. I love the old school characters on the new card. That's a pretty neat looking card. Like that. Very nice. Love that art. I'm going to set that one aside, actually. Just because I enjoy it so much. Um, I think the only 151 thing I haven't bought yet is the uh, binder. I actually need a binder, so I'll probably end up getting it. But there's only like four packs in there, and it's like 30 bucks or something weird like that. Um, Squirtle, one of my favorite Pokemon... Trio. Yeah, I'm kind of blown by these because I've opened a ton of these already. I feel like this is going to be one of those sets that there's just this is going to be good for a long time. Logan Paul's going to find it and he's going to be like, whoa. This is amazing, and then it's going to be like $800 a box. <laughs> um, Vile Plume. There's a good combo with that Vile Plume and the and De Alga. V Star or Origin Form Dialga. Basically, you just stack all that metal energy on them with Vile Plume. Um,. Man, not really hitting anything too crazy here, but can't really complain. Got a lot of cool stuff already. Only one full art. About halfway through this, or more than halfway. Let's see. Okay. Uh, nothing crazy here, it looks like. Got a Gyarados. Yep. Last three packs. Not doing too hot. Also, only three hollow energies. Uh... 
Alrighty. That's there. My dog's kind of mad at me. I think he needs to go outside. <laughs> First hollows and it's stuck because it's full art. Alakazam EX. Very cool. Got that in a promo box. There's a really annoying deck flying out there with this card. Um, as you can see, you can attack from the bench, which is kind of insane. Um, I don't know that it'll be too viable right now, but yeah, I, that might be a card to look out for in the future as far as competitive play goes. Keep it rolling, last two packs. Mm, nothing cool here, what we got? What we got? Kabutops and a dark hollow energy, very cool. Very nice. I'll probably buy this more for investment purposes. I probably bought enough packs now to where I can put together a master set, but I, I don't know. I don't really want a master set, to be honest. <laughs> um, maybe I'll do a, a full art collection, but I guess I already got all the tough-to-find cards. And Gengar. Is this the last pack? Yeah. It's a weird-looking Gengar card. Picasso-ish. All right, well, that's the break. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. UPC is pretty dope. I only got uh, one full art, but it's a nice one. Cool. Well, thanks for watching.